pretty good. Guys didn't allow a sack, had a you know good performance on the road against LSU. How yeah. satisfying was that? And how was the prep building up to that? And how did it pay off for you guys? The prep leading up to it was pretty hard. We had a tough week of practice, but it was it was very good. We strained to finish, and that's what we were focusing on. And to give up zero sacks versus a very great defensive front, you know, my matchup was tough. I mean, I, I had two two great defensive ends that I seen last year, and they they just keep improving. Um, well, yeah, they were really good, man. Where do you feel like you've grown the most between last year and this year? <sighs> my mental, probably. Um, I would say my mental because. Last year, you know, I give up sacks and all that, and I, I would get a little down on myself, and then I go home and kind of like soak for a little bit, but but try to get back to work. Right now, it's like if I give up a sack or a bad play, it's like you can't focus on that because it's it's really going to affect how you play for for the, for the plays that come on. Yeah. How would you kind of change that mindset? Uh, it's kind of something that that happened within myself um, because. The, the hatred that I got from last year for, for all the things that I was doing just made me want to not mess up ever again, you know what I'm saying? And, and to come in here and work every day. Um, and, and Book, Book was, was one of those guys that helped me for sure along the way. Um, just helping with my mental. It's like, bro, you got to push through. You're going to be okay. You're going to be a really great player. So, so is that the kind of encouragement that, you know, for, for those younger offensive linemen that are kind of experiencing this for the first time? Is that something that you give them? Is that something that you can kind of describe? Or? I would say for sure. Like, I try to help them in any way. Like, things that happen to me, I don't want to happen to them. So I'm just trying to give them my insight to them and and just want to see them do the, do the best and have success. How much have you seen Elijah kind of grow at Gray Town? It, it's, been, it's been really fun to see. You know, he's been been here for, for a while. Um, he's He's grown mentally. Uh, strength wise, you know, strong, strong person mentally, physically, um, and he's really focusing on doing what he needs to do to, to change and change how he plays and, and get that success on the field. Whether it's for Elijah or whether it's, I mean, in terms of what can a performance like the LSU game do in terms of his kind of growth and confidence? I guess. To, to, to know that you're going against a really great defensive front and not give up, give up any sacks versus those type, types of guys, it, it gives you a boost of confidence, you know, going into the next week and, and for the, the rest of the game, honestly. Um, because like I said, like, it's, it's not easy. So it's easy. You, you mentioned the amount of kind of hate that you got last year. Mm -hmm. What about, I mean, especially over the past few weeks, what about the love? Like, how do you, how do you, you know? We, we definitely, you know, definitely, exactly. definitely appreciate it. You know, lo yeah. love our fans. You know, it gets, it gets a little rough sometimes, but, you know, you just gotta look past that and and take take it into to a fact. Like you're gonna get hate, you're gonna get love. I mean, it is what it is. Treat it the same. You just move on with your day. How much uh, how much was your improvement? Just maybe getting used to the speed, of the D1 game. Um, I would say going through practice really helped me a lot. You know, going against guys like Dallas Turner and and Chris Braswell, those those types of guys, Ebo, all all them types of guys. That, that get off the ball and, and are really gonna push you. Um, that's that's what kind of got me up to speed. Um, just practice, practice, practice. Yeah. You mentioned, uh, or we talked to Tyler a couple weeks ago and he kind of mentioned you as someone he sees maybe stepping into his role from a leadership perspective. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the advice he's given you to kind of improve. What has he yeah. told you and how do you how have you kind of tried to grow in that what, way too? What I see from, from what he says from that is, yeah. is kind of just being a vocal, vocal leader to these guys. I, obviously last year, even though you can lead as a freshman, and w whatever grade you're in, I, that, that really wasn't me. I tried to lead by example, and that's kind of what I kind of do right now. But looking into like next year, not, not really looking too forward ahead, but like just talking more to the guys and, and letting them know what they need to do, help them improve, and want to see, see them do good. You guys have a tradition. I know the offensive linemen, you walk around the field before every game. Yeah. How, how did that kind of start and you know how does that help you get centered and stuff i don't know i, I just came in <laughs> and I, I seen book jc all of them walking around the field and i just followed you know what i'm saying it's i, I feel like it's something that w was way beyond our time so just continuing does that help you kind of get you know centered and stuff before a game just taking in the environment and stuff um i would i would say for sure you know we we have you know, our headphones on kind of getting locked in getting that first feel on the field, your, your feet on the field, um, kind of walking around, getting, getting the view of the venue. So, yeah, so it gets locked in.
How were y'all able to stay out of some of the third and long situations this past Saturday against LSU that you had, maybe in other road environments, and then how much does that help y'all have success on third down? You, it's, it's, it's hard, you know, especially in the SEC versus fast guys off the edge and, and, and the different fronts that they show on third and long. It's really hard to pick that up, you know, us as, as us five here and one. Um, staying out of those is, is definitely great. I mean, obviously want to run the ball, get first downs, and stay out of those situations because those are definitely the toughest to go against. You mentioned some of the struggles that you